Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. I thought we'd do a spend a day with me instead of a weekly vlog this week. So I have an audition today. It is for a cruise and it's an open call, hence why the room is still dark. It is 6.26 and Ada needs to get up. He is currently in bed, but he said that he'd take me to the station this morning and he said he was going to get up he hasn't quite made it out of bed. I don't think he can actually hear me. I think he's falling back to sleep. That is how my Wednesday morning is currently going. Just doing my hair. What the hell has happened here? I hate open calls. <laughs> purely because you have to wake up so early. Because registration isn't till 9. But I know that there's going to be people there at 7am. So it's kind of like... I need to get there early. I don't even know what time I'm even going to get there for. I'm just going to get there when I get there, basically. Anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys along the way because I need to leave in 15 minutes and I need to do my hair still and do makeup in the car, but I'd like to do my eyebrows before we leave. Last night, I made myself a little bit of a packed lunch because I don't know how long I'm going to be at the audition for. As I said, it is an open call, so a lot of the times, like... You won't get seen until lunchtime. So I just want to make sure that I've got enough food. And Ada's also got his lunch there. So I made myself some little rolls. I have a Twix, a cereal bar, and a Satsuma. And I think that should be enough. I need to make myself breakfast. I always forget to make myself breakfast in the morning. So I'm going to have a bagel. I think I might put Nutella on it because sometimes the butter makes it go a bit soggy. I feel like I always have to show you guys what's in my bag. It's a bit of a tradition now. So I've got my makeup, but that's going to stay in the car and not bring that all the way into London. I've got jazz shoes, I've got heels, I've got tap shoes, and then I also have like hairbrush spray, some plasters, purse, what else do I have? Sunglasses, I'm feeling hopeful it's gonna get sunny today. Um, and my CV and headshot. And then that is everything, obviously my food as well. And I need to fill up my water bottle. And I'm all good to go and we'll be in the car doing my makeup in the dark. I. I don't know how it's going to go. I was nearly not going to go to this audition, but everyone convinced me that I should go. So. I'm feeling okay. Like, I don't feel nervous. Um, it's too early. It's too early to be nervous. Just another sunny day. She's been set in prep for, I got in there at 9 and it's now 2.30. I've got a headache from, I literally read my whole book, but it is, well, I'm a little bit early. I'm going to come sit outside, I've got some paracetamol for my headache, and then it'll be time to finally go for the audition. And I think there's people already waiting. It's been a long day. Hello guys, I'm in the car. Aiden picked me up. He's actually currently getting his hair cut. I don't know why he wanted me to come with him. But he said that he wanted me to come with him and it was a cheaper train ticket to meet him to go get his hair done. So I said, yeah. But it is now 5.35 and it comes to no surprise to anyone that I got cut. I can't really remember what I was telling you guys throughout the day because I feel like I kind of lost my mind today having to wait around. I was actually saying to Aiden, until I actually stepped foot into the audition room from getting there this morning, I was waiting around for eight hours which is ridiculous and I found out whilst I was set in prep that the audition was going to be commercial which I hate commercial like I love watching it but for me like I've definitely gotten better at it like I think I could hold my own but I'm not good at it like let's just get that clear so I debated a few times whether I should come home Aiden and my mum said to stay so I stayed but because I've been waiting around for so long as well like I was so tired I couldn't pick up the choreography and Let's be honest, I checked out as soon as I found out it was commercial, which is not good, shouldn't do it, but it's just what I did. So yeah, um, I didn't get a call back, which honestly is fine with me. I've decided I'm just like not going to go to these auditions anymore because they always trick me and tell me to bring heels and the audition is never in heels, it's always in trainers. So um, yeah, I'm feeling... How do I explain it? I'm feeling deflated, but not because I think I'm a bad dancer, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm just feeling deflated because I'm like, I just want an audition where the dancing is a bit of me and I enjoy the dancing. But apart from the audition I had at the start of September, I uh, haven't had an audition that I've really loved since. 
but onwards and upwards as they say so the plan for the rest of the evening is probably just to chill i cannot wait to jump in the shower because i've just been in like public places all day and i just feel dirty and i also don't know what we're gonna have for dinner this evening what was i planning on making tofu tacos probably can i be bothered to cook tofu tacos like they don't actually take that long I'll see how Aiden feels when he gets out of the barbers. But fun fact, where I'm currently sat, I just told Aiden, have a little story time for you guys. So I'm literally just on a high street right now. Like there's a BP garage there, an M&S. What is that behind there? I think it might be a Sainsbury's. There's like a little corner shop. So basically I um, went on a date. I don't know how this came about. But when I was 15, I went on a date with a boy, like literally just around here. Like we literally just walked around the high street there's like a really nice like house and estate behind us and we literally just walked through the house and estate went to a park and um yeah that was theoretically my first ever date i ever went on so shout out to him but it clearly didn't go too bad because we then ended up dating for a month but anyway i'm gonna go i wonder if i can actually see aiden where is he oh i can see his barber but i can't see aiden that's a shame that would have been funny anyway adios we are home and i am gonna make tofu tacos for dinner so i thought i'd show you guys because i used to be a tofu hater like i never tried it but i thought it was disgusting and then i realized it's about how you make your tofu so i'm going to show you one of my favorite tofu recipes i only make tofu tacos or sticky tofu and the recipes are incredible i think i've already shown you guys sticky tofu though so tofu tacos I think it might be my favourite one. All you need is a taco kit because it just makes it so much easier to get the shells and all the seasonings. And then I've just seen that my mum's actually bought me an extra large tofu and Aiden's having leftovers tonight. He's not going to have tofu tacos. So I'm going to be eating tofu tacos for about five days straight. But that is okay. And then just whatever toppings you want. We've got some guac. Um some salsa maybe let's see if it's in date oh yeah in date and that's what i'm gonna have i would also normally have cheese and maybe some lettuce actually but because aiden isn't having it i'm just gonna keep it simple i've just dried and grated all of my tofu this is like the best part of the tofu it's annoying to do it but it makes such a difference and then i'm just gonna add two tablespoons of oil i actually don't know if it's gonna be enough in yeah. And then I'm just going to add in the whole of the seasoning pack. Oh, I also need to add in some soy sauce. Could you grab me the soy sauce, please? Seasonings going in. And then I think it's two tablespoons of soy sauce. I could be wrong, but I'm going to do two anyway. Now I've got a big tray, and I've normally used baking paper, but we actually have run out. So I'm going to use some tin foil just to line it. And then I'm going to put the tofu on here and spread it out. I didn't actually think I was gonna have to do this twice, but I think I can spread it out well enough that everything will crisp up. Tofu is all in the tray. I'm gonna put it into the oven at like 190 for 20-ish minutes and then just like flip it halfway through. Tofu is out of the oven and this is what it's looking like. I probably could have turned it one more time and cooked it for five more minutes to make it even more crispier, but I'm honestly too hungry, can't be bothered. So I'm gonna add in the salsa that comes in the kit. Give it a little heat up, mix it around, and then that's basically the tacos done. I just realized I was actually meant to dice up an onion and put it in here, but I honestly can't be bothered now. This is what the final meal looks like. I feel like this looks so good. Guac, salsa, we've got four, what are these even called? Taco shells. And I think that should be enough. I mean, I can just chuck some more in the oven if I want to. And normally I would do more stuff, but because it's just me, there's literally like no point. I'm honestly so full up from dinner, but I was just sat here and I was like, do you know what? I'd love to go have a bath right now because in the audition today, it was a lot of like upper body and I can already feel myself starting to ache because my upper body, I literally have the strength of a child. So I'm just running myself a bath. I've got some bubbles in it and I think I might scrub off my fake tan as well and retan. But I actually have a laser hair consultation tomorrow because i want to get some laser done but obviously you're not allowed to be tanned when you get laser done but i'm getting it in areas that i don't need to tan if you guys get my drift and i'm also gonna get my armpits done so i'm just like i'm just gonna not tan those areas so hopefully that should be okay 
I mean, I don't know if that flies. Obviously, I'll talk to them about that tomorrow. But yeah, I, I don't know what they're going to be doing tomorrow. So I just may as well not tan those sections. But I think I might end this video here. I don't think I'm really going to do much else for the evening apart from chillax and have a bath and tan. And that's pretty boring for you guys. So I hope you all did enjoy this video. I know it's a little bit short. It's not like the longest video I've ever made. But I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along on the day. As I said, definitely was not my best audition. And I don't have any auditions planned. For the foreseeable obviously i'm sure things will pop up but i'm actually in a pretty difficult situation because as you guys know ada and i are going to australia in may for basically like the whole month so any contract that is kind of over may i can't do anyway so i'm going to these auditions obviously not knowing when the contract starts if i could do it so yeah it's it's not ideal but also i don't want to not audition because something might come along and it works perfectly so it's just such an up and down industry but as always i would not change it for the world but as i said i hope you all did enjoy this vlog and i will see you all very soon with a new one bye